Jesus asked them, whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. As soon as he said unto them, I am he, they went back and fell on the ground. Jesus was bold like a lion. And Jesus is the gold standard of Christianity. And if you claim to be a child of God, you have to be bold like a lion. And you know what they say about lions. Lions don't lose sleep over the opinions of sheep. For you to become everything God has intended for you to become, to reach the heights God has planned for you, it demands boldness. It demands boldness to be a child of God. It demands boldness to walk by faith and not by sight, to go where you've never walked before. It demands boldness to reach for what you've never reached for before. It demands boldness to win. It demands boldness to break chains. It demands boldness to fight when you're tired. It demands boldness to be above average. It demands boldness to be more than a conqueror. Boldness, boldness, boldness. I don't think you understand me. The door is open to those bold enough to knock. It says in the word of God, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened society where we have access to many religions, how do we decide which one to follow? Well, I only know one way of deciding which of anything to believe is on the basis of evidence. You see, there's a confusion about faith. Many people have accepted Dawkins' definition of faith as believing where there's no evidence. That's nonsense. Faith is an ordinary word. It's not just a religious word. It's an ordinary word. It means trust. And usually, I suspect that all of you, you don't trust either facts or people without having evidence, or else you're a bit silly. And your bank manager won't trust you with a loan unless you provide evidence of collateral. Isn't that true? We all know what evidence-based faith is. Come on, y'all. Use your mind. Open it. Like, really think about this. Really think of, that's why I said, I can look at spirituality and know how it is forsaking the Lord by knowing the Bible. By knowing Satan tricks. By knowing Satan schemes. By knowing the Lord. It says the fear of the Lord um, comes wisdom. The first thing when it comes to wisdom and understanding is first fearing the Lord. And that literally the, the wisdom, the knowledge, it will come to you. For the Lord is gracious when it comes to wisdom. Anybody that asks for wisdom and understanding, the Lord shall give it. And when you start really asking for wisdom and understanding, how I'm putting two and two together, like the beginning message of the scripture, putting the pieces and the puzzles together, right here you'll be able to do it somehow compensate for my lack of strength i could prove it my goal was to work myself relentlessly every day until i mastered something and it worked my counter punch is the result oh. and hunger but those who seek the lord lack no good thing so help us lord to seek you to seek you yes, early lord, when you may be seek, found to seek, to seek you early morning, when you may be found. noon and night to morning, meditate upon your word night. oh meditate jesus upon your day word. and night night day and, and day night. day night and, and night night day and, and day meditating night on your word and being careful to do all that it says and then we'll make our going way prosperous through our then we'll our find good success the lord help us to keep our life free from the love of money and be content with what we have because we know we have you and you are our yes, great Lord, reward you, you, you are our are magnificent Lord, obsession Lord, you are the one who has promised the never to leave us or forsake us, us even when our mother and father forsake and us father, you will never forsake us so thank you Lord thank you Lord that we are content in us. you with whatever we have we have our our God you are with us you will not you leave us us. You, will you will not, not forsake will us. Not forsake so us. we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on, share this with somebody just quickly. We're going to give.
get into this area you, of brother. fear now, breaking these strongholds. Remember, yes. you're going to find prayer points, articles, a whole series on the spirit of fear over on my uh, blog at jenniferleclair.org slash articles. You can mark those. So let's get these going now. Let me get a sip of water. Sip of coffee. We're, we're pounding this. Let's do it. Those of you that came in late, there was a great prophetic word of the Lord encouraging us earlier. You can only go back and listen to that. Father, we, we love you so much. We love you so much. Lord, we thank you for your promise that you've not given us a spirit of fear. Lord, we thank you for your promise that you have not given us a spirit of fear. You didn't give us that spirit of fear. We know where it came from. It came from the pit of hell. And we ask you to forgive us, Lord. Yes, forgive us, us for, for listening to the voice of a stranger Lord your word tells us that my sheep know my voice and the voice of a stranger they will not follow and this fear it has a voice demons are persons without bodies and the spirit of fear is a person with a voice and it's loud and it's 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 it's, it's driving us Lord to, to do things and go places and things that are not pleasing to you and so we Lord, ask you Lord to us. forgive Help us, us more mindful, catch Lord forgive us for bowing it. to the spirit of fear you get oh God in heaven would you forgive us for bowing to the spirit us. of fear for being led forth by the spirit of fear instead of by your spirit of holy the holy spirit who lives in us, us god Lord, you didn't give us that spirit of, dread, of fear of <laughs> so we confess it dread, we repent Lord. of we any repent fear of anxiety any fear. oh jesus anxiety. dread Dignity. Jesus, dread, Jesus, dread, Lord, trepidation. Dread. trepidation, oh Jesus, we renounce these things we in the name of Jesus, we no longer in the will name we tolerate of Jesus. No longer will we tolerate these no longer will we be we alarmed by what we see, them in us no we longer will we carry angst in our hearts, no longer will we be apprehensive over situations. Lord. No longer will we be so we overly concerned ourselves. about the so fair, affairs of life until we reason ourselves we into the pain our, of God forgive us. us. With your word, we renounce despair, we renounce dismay, we renounce doubt and, 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 and dread and, and, and horror. We break the powers of it over our lives. We renounce the jitters. We renounce panic. We renounce every spirit that would scare us and make us afraid and cause us to be suspicious. Instead of discerning, Make us we break the powers of and we renounce we break terror, the power of unease, terror, uneasiness, of unease, worry. Oh, uneasiness, Jesus. All of worry, these things are in the category called fear. That are intimidation. In the we of renounce fear. that in the name we of Jesus. We renounce. We denounce in the intimidation. Name of Jesus. We in the name it. of Jesus. That we dread, renounce that, it. That fright. That dread. That terror. Ter terrified. We break it. We break it. Break we break it. it. break it in the name of Jesus. We Who's break the fear of heaven upon of our it. life in the name Jesus of the name Most High ourselves. God. Because you didn't give us that spirit. That it may burn every you single molecule of my being. All that I am. That it may burn. This the darkness of, out of me, Lord, the spirit in this of the moment Lord is, right now, Father God, in Jesus You gave name, us amen. a spirit of power. That you may fill so me we have the ability to resist Spirit, fear because you, you gave us that Spirit of power. You gave us the Spirit of holy. You put the resurrection that power in our spirits and we have strength in our inner man Jesus. to resist the devil. So we submit ourselves to you right now in the name of Jesus. We submit ourselves fear, to the Spirit of holy. It is we submit ourselves to the power that raised Lord. Christ from the dead and we exert it to resist the enemy. We resist every spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. We resist you. In the name we of break Jesus. agreement with you. you. We want no now part break of you. Agreement God, with you give, dread, give us fear, a spirit of fear. Humidity, so we don't want you. We say you must lose us now in the name of Jesus. Every lose us now in the name of Jesus. Of fear. We break your powers in over our life in the name with of Jesus. And we choose and to walk in love. We choose to walk in power. Written in your word, Lord, you didn't wherever give us two a or more are gathered fear, together but a power in my name. Love and a sound mind. There I Lord, am. Lord, your word tells us that perfect love casts out fear. Your word tells us that because perfect fear love torment. casts out fear. Lord, help us to see this so clearly. Lord. Fear, perfect love casts out fear. 
God, you are love. So God, you cast out fear. So God, if we are full of you, we can't be full of fear. There's no room for fear. Or you fully consumed us. So fill us with your spirit on today, oh God. Would you fill us afresh with your spirit on today, oh God. And help us. Help your will, us. Your way, Lord. Help us today, God. Help us, to, Lord, to today. Help us God, to today. You, to and yield not to, to you. To fear. To be aware of fear. your presence. Be aware of be your aware presence. Of to be every reminded that you are with us wherever we go, and dread, wherever we and do. And terror and horrified uh, voices and thoughts that come at us. Fiery dart. Lord, help us to lift up our shield darts, of faith Father and God. quench them, knowing that you love us. You Quench love us. Them. You've given us a sound Knowing mind. Knowing that you love us, that you have given us a and, sound and mind. And fear has no place in a sound and mind. Fear has no, no place, place in fear a sound in mind. A sound mind. So, Father, in help us to renew spirit. our minds to your love so that we will love. never be afraid again. And when the fear comes at us, we won't let it that get way, when in the us. Fear comes at us. The fear the may be speaking to us. The fear may be causing outward symptoms in our physical bodies. But we will not give way. We will not let the fear in us. Lord, we surrender every fear we to you. Surrender and we ask dread, you, Lord, fear, to fill us with your that peace. Comes together with in the name of Jesus. In the name of we Jesus. Ask you for of in peace. the name of we in say fear has no place in our life. No we make no more room for in it. In our life. We will make we cut no off more the head room of the for snake it. called fear. We, we cut off no the head of the snake called fear. We banish you from our lives. We banish you from our lives. Your fearful thoughts. We cast down we even cast now. Down and even, even in the now. Future, Holy Spirit convict us, remind us. We cast down every fearful thought, every vain imagination, every thought of anxiety. Every of whisper anxiety, from the wicked one, we cast it down in the name of Jesus. Every frightful notion, we cast it down in the name of Jesus. Every hideous thought, we cast it down. Every thought of calamity, we cast it down in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we put our trust in you. We put, we put our, trust our trust in, you, Lord. in your love for us. Put our trust in your love for us. You love and us. Help us. Give us a revelation. Help, Help us to renew our minds to love. Our minds to love. Perfect love cast out fear. Greater Help us, Lord, fortify our faith Lord. so we can stand firm against fear, that against doubt, against dread, against, dread, against to torment. Will, to we plead the blood of Jesus we over our minds. Blood and we declare even now that we have the mind of Christ. Every sun molecule of our feet. Father, we declare if there's now that we have the we mind have of recognized. Christ subtle fears that 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 nag our souls but yet we're not aware of them somehow we've Thank been deceived by them we didn't we didn't we didn't see it the way that you see it other people might see it other people might not see it but we don't see it lord if there's a hidden fear lord shine your light the entrance of your word brings light shine your light on our soul and show us anything hidden Expose it so we can see it for what it is and, and not fall into that trap anymore in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We say we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. I thank you, Lord. Uh, this is the mind uh, us that greater is the Holy Spirit who is in us. The victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. And so we will not allow Remind us, Lord, fear don't let us forget. to pollute our faith the anymore. Journey of our day, Lord, no the longer, of week, the journey of no our longer will we allow this deep and power the journey of our life, to Lord. hold Thank us you, captive. God. Thank you, Father God. We Thank say fear's God. grip is broken. Fear's fear grip strongholds is now are broken. broken. Lord, we know these demons are going to try to come back. We name. know that. We know the enemy always comes back at an opportune time. He whispers. He sets up circumstances and all these things. Lord, give us greater discernment give us a greater discernment greater awareness us greater discernment, help us greater be more sensitive Lord. to help your us to be more spirit sensitive to so your that when spirit, our peace is disturbed so we know the enemy has infiltrated our atmosphere we know the enemy has infiltrated father our help us to stand and withstand us, in the father, evil day against and fear and, and all the evil its day forms against fear and, and we give you forms. praise and we give you praise <laughs> Because you've not given us a spirit because of fear. You have not we give given you praise us a spirit of fear. Because you are you a good, us good father. A spirit of power, of love, of a disciplined spirit. A spirit of discernment. A new creation in love. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. 
Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Promise to continue to give you the glory. Thank you for being with us through the journey of our day. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Me is thank trying you, to make you focus you, on the thank things for, that don't seem to be fitting the puzzle. I was sitting here praying this morning and I was asking God in his word gives us the keys to pass through the gate of rulership because this is a season of ruling and reigning and the father told me i'm going to give you keys in this season for 5784 for the door that we are going through it's not just for me i can't keep it to myself i have to share with my brothers and sisters and the other chosen ones because when we prophesy we only prophesy in part right and i have a piece of the puzzle that will help the next man or woman of god right so i have to do my due diligence by sharing what the lord gives how you want to go and how you want to get there you got to control it. If not, it's over. A good human being, a fulfilled human being, doesn't need to break anyone down. All they do is want to build you up. So anybody you meet that calls you out of your name, that bullies you, that messes you up, that, that makes you feel not lifted, they are dealing with something deep-rooted. When you quit, your mind says, we're done. One mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, running at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay hard. Being accepted is one thing that killed me. And you have to learn what do you want in your life?